Hi, uh, today uh, we are going to discuss the um, hexene uh, isomers, stability of straight chain hexene isomers. Uh, we know that uh, these are position isomers because uh, when a straight chain, this is a straight chain of hexene, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and similarly this one. So here the uh, posi uh, double bond is this position number first, here the double bond is this position number second, and here is the double bond position number third. So this is also known as position isomer as well. How it is effect, uh, which one of the three will be more stable one. So this can easily be determined on the basis of the hydrogenation energy. When we add hydrogen, the more the hydrogen is easily added, the less the substance will be, the less the compound will be stable one. Let's start. This one is here we can see uh, this is the carbon and this is the carbon. Uh, here it is hydrogen, 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 here is hydrogen. But this one, if you can see this one, from here onwards, this one, this is what this is the alkyl group. Uh, so this functional group has uh, one hydrogen, uh, second, third hydrogen, three hydrogen around it. One uh, uh, substituent around it, one alkyl group, so this is known as substituent. So it has just one substituent around it, one substituent around the double bond. Here we can see uh, this one is a <clears throat> hydrogen, Th this is the carbon, and this is the carbon. So which has double bond, this is the uh, al alkene functional group, this one is the hydrogen. Now here it is, you can see this one is alkyl group and this one is alkyl group as well. So here are two substituents. We can write here are two substituents. Two substituents around what? Around the double bond. This is the double bond. This is one substituent. This is the second substituent while two hydrogens are attached over here. Here in this case we can see as well the same as the case. Uh, this one is a hydrogen. This one is the hydrogen. This one is the carbon. This one is the carbon. So this is the uh, double bond. Around the double bond, we can see this one is one alkene group, uh, alkyl group. This one is another alkyl group. This simply means that it has also two substituents. Two substituents around it. So once uh, the first rule is when a uh, compound uh, in a compound when there are more uh, the more the number of the substituent around the double bond the more will be the stability in this case only one substituent around it all other are hydrogen this simply means this is the least stable one among all the three this is the least one uh, so it will uh, this one will be known as least stable and consequently it will release more energy uh, during hydrogenation and the hydrogenation will be easy in this case. Now what about these two? Here uh, also we can see this is one substituent, this is another substituent while two hydrogens were here, here one substituent, this is a substituent where two hydrogens are here as well. So these are the same but here the rule is uh, the uh, substitute are the same so that rule cannot be followed. Here we can have another rule, we have, a, we have another rule. The, another rule is like this, look at for the alpha carbons and alpha hydrogen. This one is the alpha this one you can see, this one is alpha carbon, alpha carbon, this one is the alpha carbon. While this one is the beta and this one is the beta carbon, so we are not concerned with the beta, we are only concerned with the alpha carbon. Here, this one is the alpha carbon and this one is the alpha carbon. This one is beta and this one is gamma, we are not concerned with that. So, let's see, here, this one is uh, uh, alpha carbon, uh, on alpha carbon we have two hydrogen. And on this alpha carbon, we have two hydrogen because alpha carbon is the one which is adjacent to the uh, double bond. The, so here at this side, it is adjacent to a double bond. Here at this side, this one is adjacent to a double bond. So these two are alpha hydrogen. These two are alpha hydrogen. Total hydrogen, uh, total alpha hydrogen is equal to how much for in this case? In this case, we can see this one is the alpha carbon so these are the alpha hydrogen three one two three hydrogen here one two hydrogen so total alpha hydrogen is equal to five here 
the number of alpha hydrogens are more this simply means this will be more stable as compared to this one so among of all of them this one will this one will show more stability let's see the uh, uh, experimental values uh, being um, uh, given to us by different uh, sites in the internet as well and from uh, left literature of chemistry this one has <clears throat> this one let's start from here its experimental value is uh, how much this is 20 9.1 minus 29.1 kilo calorie per mole energy uh, of hydration hydrogenation when hydrogenation energy is this much here the hydrogenation energy hydrogenation energy here is how much it is uh, in this case when this is two hexene uh, uh, so in this case the hydrogenation is uh, 27.8 minus 27.8 kilo calorie Per mole and here in this case we can see the energy is 28.4 kilo calorie per mole minus so in this case you can see the hydrogenation energy is this is hydrogenation energy here the hydrogenation energy is 28.4 here is minus 27.8 and here is minus 29.1 this simply means this uh, releases more energy uh, this one is the least one so this one will be the more stable one so uh, it also being confirmed by the uh, <coughs> Uh, values experimental values given to us uh, by the scientists so from the literature we have uh, seen this and we can uh, confirm it from the internet as well so this simply means that uh, uh, the uh, the one which has uh, uh, the same number of uh, alkyl group around it uh, around the double bond then you will go for what you will go for the alpha hydrogen this is another rule so hopefully